All right guys, we are leaving our Airbnb. Kids are finishing up some popsicles and we are gonna go to San Marcos, Texas as a pit stop and then we're gonna continue all the way to Austin, Texas. And we're gonna check out Austin, Texas for the next couple of days. And you must watch to the end guys to see this place that we're staying at. Look how nice this looks. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. You wanna go to Austin, Texas? Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, do you want to go splash in some water? Before we go, I want to show you guys the world's largest cowboy boots. So we're here at the North Star Mall, and right in front here, there are these big, giant cowboy boots. This is my hand <laughs> on this big, giant boot. But I was reading about it, and one day, there was uh, they thought that the boots were on fire because they saw smoke coming out of the top of the boots. There was a homeless guy and he had a fire like a stove and he was using the top of the boot as like a chimney so that it's a place for him to be able to cook inside the boot, which I thought was just hilarious. So I figured I'd come here and see if I could find if there was like a spot where you could get inside the boots, but I don't see anything here. Apparently it's hollow on the inside. I wanna know what it's made out of. That's like a... That's like a concrete right there. And what do we have here? Huh, I don't know what that's made of. Something you don't see every day, right? The world's largest cowboy boots. Have you guys ever been to the world's largest cowboy boots? Have you guys ever been to San Antonio before? I'd be curious to know that down in the comments below. There's also this giant wooden nickel. Let's go find that. Have you guys seen the giant wooden nickel in San Antonio, Texas? We are here today and I wanna tell you guys a little bit about this place and what happened. So this right here is a museum. It was the Wooden Nickel Museum of San Antonio. I'm curious to know if there's anything still in there. Can we see anything in the glass? Oh, I don't know if, it, look, in those cases, there's all kinds of wooden nickels. Check that out. But they had to close it down because so many people kept stealing from it. So let me show you guys the big giant, this thing is 2,500 pounds of wooden nickel. This thing is huge. Look at that right there. <laughs> Boom! It looks like it's made out of like uh, just planks of wood that they just kind of stacked on top of each other in this frame right here. This thing is huge. Look how big that is. That is like solid wood too. They're not joking with that thing right there. That is all you have. Okay, so the other side of it looks like this. That is super cool. This thing is ginormous. All right, we're stuck in I-35 traffic and I just came across this giant armadillo. Let's go find that. So we're here at this flea market. They have a giant sculpture of an armadillo right there. I love finding these crazy things. I don't know why I find this so interesting. But that's the point of these roadside attractions is that it's supposed to be something on the side of the road that's gonna catch your eye, that makes you want to come and see what it is so you'll get out of your car and hopefully you will uh, you will go and give some business to whoever has this weird roadside attraction out there. All right guys, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell and turn on all notifications so that you see our next video because this one is to be continued. Somebody looks like they're ready for a day on the river. This water's cold. Ah!